Andrew Ferguson is returning to a place he knows well, although with a different motor package underneath the hood. Just recently, he went to 358s. He's been running at Fulton pretty much exclusively. Almost won one. I think it was almost about a month and a half ago now. We'll get to that specifically in just a little bit. But I remember seeing you in the stands last week. You were like, I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting home on Fridays. Pretty much that simple? Yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, uh, you know, we went all out this year. We built another new car and um, had the motor freshened up. Our spare motor's out getting freshened. We've been trying to get the best equipment we can. And the idea was, you know, we were kind of sick of it was kind of always the same thing. Every year we get halfway through the summer and you get a you get a mechanical failure or something that sidelines you. And I said, you know what, if we can keep the thing square, we need to start racing more. Um, simple as that. You know, the guys that you got to beat every week in this modified division, I don't care if it's big block, small block, doesn't matter. The good guys are racing all the time. You know, so if you want to hone your skill, you, you got to do it. It's just like anything else. You got to shoot shoot foul shots. You got to be at the batting right. cages, you know, so. Do the suicides when as you long need as to, our, all that uh, stuff. Yep. As long as our wallet Per, you know, allows us. Um, Brewerton and Fulton are 15 minutes from my house. Um, we're going to try it. Nice. So that's the plan for the rest of the year to do Friday and Saturday, one with one car, one with the other. No, I only have the one car right now. I have two motors, but um, we're just going. Yeah, we're going to uh, hit and miss here next week. Um, I have a. I'm going to a concert, so I can't come here. But okay. After they take the break for the Monster Jam weekend, I think we're going to try and finish the year off at both tracks. So. Okay, I'm just curious. Who are you going to see? Morgan Wallen. Is that a country act? Yeah. Okay, that's why I don't know it yeah. then. I'm a, I'm a hardcore rock and roller. Yeah. I got Tim Sears' perspective on when he passed you, so let's make sure we got everything right. He said without the yellow, you would have won. There was nothing he could do about it. Yeah, that's what that's what the video looked like. Um, so you were gone, huh? I was gone. I got I kind of got through lap traffic and um, kind of got to two guys in front of me fighting, and I could look back, and I kept seeing on the board who was behind me, and I knew that Dave, Marcocelli, and Timmer were second and third. And uh, I came out of turn two with like nine or ten to go, and I looked back, and they were coming into one. So I knew I had, oh, good. I knew I had some room. So I kind of, I didn't really want to keep pushing the issue. So the last couple laps, I kind of just slow down. You know, you got, they're not going to run you down in, in, you know, eight nine laps like that. Right. You know, so uh, yeah, a tenth slower is not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then the, you know, the caution came out with three to go, and I just, I didn't drive a good enough race. Simple okay. as that. Um, arguably, I, I don't know. Um, if I had a better car, Timmer's been pretty lights out everywhere he goes, especially at Fulton with that Troyer. Yeah. And, uh, won more than half the races. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's either yeah. won or pretty much broke. So Yeah, or something um, really bad, yeah. No, yeah. It's, so uh, we'll keep digging. You know, we, we've only had two weeks where we've actually finished and had no problems. You know, one okay. week I, I uh, had broke some valve springs in the motor. The next week I had a tire go down. Third week I got put in a uke tire. So the two weeks we finished, I got a ninth and a second. So we're... We're trying to just keep keep plugging away and keep going. What about tonight then? Because obviously you, you have a small block, and you're down about 300 horse. Yeah, actually tonight's goal, um, I uh, finally was able to get my hand on some tires. Oh. Uh, I've been running last year's tires most of the year. and uh, So I got some new tires, so I want to just, just uh, burn them in tonight, get them ready for tomorrow. That's kind of my goal. Um, you know, we'll see. I, I think there's probably pushing 30 modifieds here. There's a lot of cars are. here. so Yeah. That might change if it comes to a point where we got to qualify. Then uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll change something up. But um, yeah, if you're starting last in the Conti, yeah, that's definitely what things happen, right? Yeah, definitely going to be a, a tough deal. We took the whole week. We went to Can Am Wednesday. Had a driveline vibration and hot laps, so we missed oh, our heat race and okay. uh, drove from 14th to 8th in the Conti. We had a good car, just not enough time. So what was the vibration? Uh, ended up being something in the drivetrain. We took the drive shaft, took the gears out, took everything out, and kind of put it all back together, and it was fine. I don't huh. really know. Something some just goofy, out of balance, some maybe. goofy deal. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. I thought the drive shaft was out of time, but that was fine. So um, maybe something with the rear end gear set. I think maybe. But so we'll that's go. something we're going to work on this week at the shop. Then uh, we fixed it. It's fixed. Oh, you're yeah, confident all, that you got it. It's all fixed. We we fixed it. Uh, went out for the Conti, and it was the car was great. We're just uh, okay. We'll go tonight. Uh, try some different stuff. Get some tires burned in, and go for a win tomorrow night. How's the family? Great. Yeah. Great. Got a 11 month old starting to walk at home. Really? Yeah, he's yeah. starting to walk. How's mom? Great, very good. good. Please give her a hug for me, okay? I will, absolutely. His mom is Jeannie Ferguson. Any of you guys with the Syracuse Bike Rod Club, you know Jeannie very well. She's been there. Well, how old were you when you were there? You I were... started there in 1997. So she's and been was she there, there before then. that? No, nope, she started okay, with so, me. So she's been there now. 25 That's 25 years, years guys. So uh, for those of you guys who were there, make sure to tell her thanks for, for all she's done because she does not make money doing that. She no. does it for the love of the sport. Always good to see you, Andrew. You take care of yourself, okay, man? Thanks, Doug.